The following podcast is being brought to you by the Defy Life Podcast Network. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to Unsupervised, the spinoff. This week, your friendly neighborhood hosts welcome a guest. None other than Kingpin J.R. Glimpf of the flagship stops by and let it all hang out. In our weekly Rona update, with more and more cities going on stay orders, what are you and your family doing to pass the time, and what's the first thing you're going to do when you get off house arrest? In our wacky stat of the week, who cares about baseball? In petty party politics, we talk about 45's press conferences, the stimulus passes, there's new stimulus talks already, and Lindsey Graham's comments about the stimulus in general. And in our main topic, things we do to attract somebody's attention. And what are our tactics for getting that attention from a woman? Y'all enjoy the show. back for another week bringing it to you guys we happy to be here man thefalifepods.com is where you can find us the Life gear the Life podcast network it's your boy money the real is back it's two for tuesdays y'all already know it's mr real himself welcome back to the show come in take a seat relax and get ready for the brothers man west coast j man how you doing today you already know me. I'm still in the house, ducking and dodging the run. The run is still taking shots at you, man. Man, I'm there. Every time I look out the window, man, I'm pretty sure that's who that is behind that tree right there. <laughs> no, Walking around the corner no, with a weird hat on, looking like Carmen San Diego. Real dark outfit and everything. I'm pretty sure that's the Rona. <laughs> looking real predatorial. <laughs> No doubt, man. No doubt. Hey, man, I got my man Hollywood Paul here also. I think he in the background smoking a black or, or something like that, man. Hey, man. Hey, mind your business, man. All right? Mind your business. <laughs> Hollywood <laughs> Paul, man. How you doing, man? I'm good, man. I'm good. Glad to be back with y'all boys, man. You know, I'm up in the crib, just chilling, eating up all the snacks, getting on my girl nerves. You know, the usual. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. Hey, hey, I'm doing the same, bro. You know, I said last week, man, the bad thing about being home is, hey, man, I'm eating all my food, man. Like, yo, I just find shit to cook and, and I cook and eat it. So I, I get it, man. You you and your girl haven't broke up yet, have you? Hell no, nah, man. Look, I, just, <laughs> I stay cooking now. So I, I'm just talking about the snacks, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I've been finding all her little snatch spots. Every, 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 you know, stash spots and, and little snack spots, little little things she did hate hide all around the house. So you know, I've been I've been dabbling in that shit, getting on her nerves, but it's all good, man. She loves it. No doubt, no doubt, gentlemen. Lo and behold, this episode we, we've been talking about this since what episode five or six when we first said we needed a guest. And now um, we got a treat for y'all today because we have a guest. Um, my brother, my man. The, the the founder of it all, we have Defy Life Networks, uh, Jr. Glump, man, from the Defy Life Podcast. Um, Jay, man, how you doing, man? Yeah, I'm good. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna soak up all the applause, but thank you. Yeah, um, I'm good, man. Thanks for having me. How y'all doing? I'm doing well, man. Thanks for good, being man. here, man. Welcome. You, no, him, so, Jay. you can't just be showing up being all supervisory. I know. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, I want to hear a 10, 9, 8. <laughs> it's crazy how she was just about to say I got I to gotta adjust like 
my, my my behavior like i'm i'm usually the one like i'm, I'm accustomed to keeping y'all in line now i gotta step outside the box with y'all so um this should be fun out and we appreciate you, you we appreciate you coming man to get a little unsupervised with us for everyone that doesn't know man this this the dude that kicked us off his show uh- <laughs> <laughs> and and look at you flying Kick you out of the look at treatment like Pam or Martin just every just get the step <laughs> yeah all of a sudden our uh-huh. key cards didn't work on the flagship no more me and West Coast was just looking at each other like damn your, your key card work <laughs> he was like nah my key card don't work your key card work and we like oh, no man. what the, the fuck happened <laughs> <laughs> there's a uh, there's always a method to my madness man so you know um, you know again look at y'all flying and Look at, look at the world is privileged enough to hear Hollywood Paul every week. So I think stuff worked out. No doubt, man. No doubt. We appreciate it. But once again, man, welcome. You are you enjoying what you 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 enjoying what you've been hearing so far out of us, brother? Absolutely, man. I was just about to say that. First of all, um, you know, congrats to y'all for taking the challenge to you know to accept and do your own show. I know it's uh, the further you get into it and the closer you get to starting, it's is a little bit more daunting than you think it would be. Uh, but y'all stepped up to the challenge, and I'm uh, I'm excited to listen to y'all every week, man. And all the feedback I'm getting from everybody is good. So kudos to you, gentlemen. Proud of y'all. No doubt, man. No doubt, gentlemen. Oh, what y'all think about shucks. that? <laughs> <laughs> you say that to all the podcast members. Uh, the uh, podcast. <laughs> uh, some of them, no doubt. <laughs> no doubt. Uh, well, our first guest, man. We are excited. And um, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't um hold no punches for for what we're gonna talk about tonight, just because we got a guest, nope. man. Oh, oh so we gonna get him in here. We gonna treat him right, man. Um, oh, and he gonna... hopefully we don't end. Hopefully he don't end up on the couch messing with us, like in the house <laughs> as opposed to the couch on the show. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. We got a little house clean. We got a little house cleaning to do. Um. The network, the Fire Live Network, would like to welcome and honor and mention and shout out uh, two of our patrons, um, Veronica White and Keisha Glimp. Um, the network always salutes high praise and high thank you. We, we, we definitely cannot do this uh, without you guys. Um, that's something new that we're going to be doing every week is um, also shouting out uh, a couple of our patrons um, from the network and just showing them some love, man. We do not do this. Um, we do not take this lightly. And um, we definitely want to say thank you, and we appreciate everything you do from the fam to Fire Life, baby. No doubt, no doubt. Gotta love the patrons, man. Make sure it's moving. Love y'all, love y'all. No doubt, gentlemen. So, um, Hollywood Paul, man. Um, how was your week, man? Oh man, you know it was, it was, it was pretty good. I'm getting adjusted to working from home, you know. I got, I got to stop being lazy. I've been doing half-ass home workouts. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm not been the same me without the gym. I don't know what it is. I, I love the interaction with the people. You know, I I, I, love, I love I love the you know the smell of it. I I love the, the feel of the iron when it was bouncing against your chest. I, I just I just miss it, man. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, I mean I've been I've been cooling, man. Enjoying it really. It's kind of like you know I've been forced to take a vacation at home. <laughs> A little bit of work here and there. No doubt, no doubt. How's the job treating you? Man, same, man. You know, we just remote in, doing the same thing. You know, they let me, they let me fly high, and uh, they've actually been embracing my style of uh, how I how I work. So uh, it's pretty cool, man. So I, I can't can't get mad as long as I stay in line according to the ultimate corporate guidelines, and I I'll keep a job. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. West Coast, man. How was the week treating you, man? Me and Netflix are intimately, intimately involved. <laughs> like, I'm pretty much watching anything except the Tiger King, which I just don't support. <laughs> That's a hot show, man. Everybody watching it, man. You sure? Why don't you support sure. it? Not in any way interested. I don't have at least 20 people be like, but it's, you got to, I mean, this this dude is a trip and, and, and there's a mullet and, and there's and there's the the mob and there's tigers and he's mistreating them and I was like and that's where you lost me. Now, there's no reason why I want to support any of what you just talked about. Mm. No doubt. Hey, well, you heard it here first. West West Coast Jay is not watching 
I'm not watching it either though. Uh, Tiger King. Um, I I don't know. I, first of all, I have I have too much shit to watch, and um, that's just if I watch it, it's still falling kind of down, you know, further on my list than something that I need to watch like right now. But I I'm, I'm told it's pretty good and pretty interesting, and, and you know, so you know, I don't know. I'll probably, I'll probably still watch it like much 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 later. I basically heard that it's a series of train wrecks wrecking other trains. <laughs> while wrecking. <laughs> hey wrecking man, Jay, Jay, you watching? Um, you watching Tiger King? Uh, I did, and um, you know, I always like to form my own opinion, so I went ahead and watched it. And I'll tell you, in in uh, West Coast, don't don't waste your time. <laughs> Thanks for being honest, Jay. Yeah. I mean, I was already kind of, you know, I was intrigued. Anytime you see a um, a, a, a gay redneck animal beater, uh, you're always, like, intrigued. But uh, halfway through it, I was like, this shit ain't that good. I can watch this in 30-minute you know, intervals on any reality show on TV. So it wasn't, like, special. Uh, so, nah, it ain't. Don't break your neck trying to watch it, man. I'm good, man. How and how was your week, man? How how how's this? How's your week in the Corona world and and all uh, that been treating you? All is well, man. You know, um, I'm stuck in the house. Kids driving me crazy. Trying to, you know, trying to see if Amazon delivers refrigerator locks to keep them little fools out out, out the food. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, everything's good, man. You know, I'm I'm kind of the opposite of Paul. Um, you know, my wife bought me these these lovely um, Bowflex adjustable dumbbells for my birthday. So I kind of been getting it in on the weights, man, since I've been home. So um, to the point where I, I think I I don't know if I messed up my rotator cuff or something. My shoulder's killing me. So I had to kind of back up off the weights chicken, a little bit. Man. Right. Chicken, yo, down. yo, when I uh, when I almost separated my shoulder doing push ups, I was like, yeah, I got to I got to calm down. Yeah. <laughs> a little too hard. <laughs> right. Machine. Chuck but, uh, <laughs> right, but uh, but yeah, so been in the, you know, and you know, my son's been working out with me, so they uh, it's more for them than that for me at this point, you know, like they uh, they young, so they gotta look fly. I ain't gotta look fly no more, um, but uh, nah, it's I'm good, man, you know, it's good being home, kids are here, you know, um, while I'm up in the front working, my wife's in the back working, and the kids are playing PlayStation, so we see each other just as much as we did before this shit. No doubt, nice. no doubt. Nice. You. So, how, how's the working from home scene and all that treating you? Uh, not bad. You know, it's uh, you know, it's a little bit. You know, you can, you can kind of do things at your own pace and, you know, and and more comfortable clothes and and a recliner. It's always better. So. No doubt, no doubt. Y'all have y'all y'all get to tell amazing work from home stories, but my my working from home still stinking <laughs> it up, man. Every. <laughs> My back hurt. I work from home all day in the bed. Like mm. <laughs> my back hurt. Um, my like, cause mostly my chair. My chair suck. And um, every every single day, it's like like Friday. My like my VPN went down, and when it came back up, it was like you need to change your network password. And I was like, okay, let me go change my network password. So I went to change my network password, and because I'm out of the office. The, the password didn't cascade to the rest of the network. And I was trying to, so, and I tried to force it. It was like, you're not an admin on the domain. And I was like, fucking A, I'm not an admin on the domain. So I'm like trying to backdoor the shit, setting it directly from the active, setting my password up directly from the active directory and all types of stuff. I'm trying, none of it's working. Turns out we have a new VPN and it's not communicating with the rest of the network appropriately. Nice. So my productivity from Friday was all shattered and, you know, so that, had me kind of upset and um yeah so it's now, just all, it's all our other yeah. listeners out there uh what he just said was he took the game cartridge out the uh the suit <laughs> and he flew on that shit a couple of times he smacked it twice and then put it back in and hit restart all right <laughs> and the yeah, game still chair. didn't work that was, that was it I had, I had to get a new chair <laughs> Yeah, so man, I'm I'm trying to make it, man. But it's a new week, so um, 
you know, this morning my 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 soft phone. I don't know if y'all familiar. My soft phone didn't work, mm-hmm. and um, had to get IT to fix that. And so e- e- I find that every day, about for about twenty percent of my day, something that I need to do my job doesn't work correctly. Mm-hmm. Um, but have but having said that, I will say I'm one of the one of the few um, that are blessed to be able to take my take my work and work from home and still be productive and get paid and and all of that. So I know it's a lot of people out there hurting that's been laid off or furloughed or asked, you know, have the job put on hold for three or four weeks. So a shout out to all of y'all, man. Shout out to all the first responders as we kind of dealing with this, with this craziness, man. Um, So that's my weekly roundup. Um, We're going to give y'all a weekly Corona update since we're talking about it. Um, so gentlemen, um, I'll tell you the funniest thing I've seen all week related to the coronavirus. I was at the liquor store. And um, so the liquor store is considered an essential store. And so but they got to close the doors at seven at seven p.m. So I was at the liquor store. I, I was all, I was like. It might have been 22 people in line in front of me already, and it might have been another 20 people behind me. And in the in the parking lot pulls up this green Jeep, like Cherokee. It's like a 1994, 95, like a late model Jeep Cherokee. And um, <laughs> he pulls up right in front of me. He, he like pulls up, and I'm like right in front of where I'm standing. He pulls up, and the dude that jumps out of the Jeep Cherokee has on a, a motorcycle helmet <laughs> <Sure>. with the <laughs> he has on a full motorcycle helmet black motorcycle helmet with the mask down and shit y'all that was his coronavirus mask oh get the oh. fuck out of here yeah yeah, yeah. I don't know, homeboy that went to the grocery right. store talking about <laughs> he was wearing a clean pair of underwear as a mask and some oven mitts cool <laughs> Hey, I'm telling you, it's it's a lot of people out like like Pooh say don't speak the truth. There's a lot of people out here playing, but it's a whole lot of people that's out here serious. Now that granted, yeah. that motorcycle helmet probably wouldn't have done anything for him, but oh, hey, in his in his mind he was safe. And so <laughs> Right. You know, so I, I get it, man. Y'all y'all see anything crazy this week? Um I'm bad to go out today because uh, you know, everybody you know, hoarding toilet paper. So I had to go out. We was getting low. So I get in, um, you know, my wife had went to food line to go get some other stuff and it was no toilet paper in the entire store or paper towels. So I was like, all right, let me run out really quick. Um, for one, I just need to get out the house anyway. So let me make a run, see where I can find toilet paper. First stop I make, I was going to go to like CVS, places like that, kind of low key. And I passed a family dollar. I was like, ah, I'm sure they got some. Let's go in there. And yo, it's literally like 19 senior citizens surround on toilet paper, right? And I mean, it's, it's old ladies on their phone reporting back to their husbands. Baby, they got like 19 rolls in here. Which one you want? You want the angels? Like they doing a whole report, the angel soft, the, the, the store brand, <laughs> like that. And I'm just sitting back in the back, like ladies, I just want to wipe my ass. Can I grab one of the cheap ones, please? So I go over there, and of course it's old ladies. So I get in line, and it's like. You know, three old ladies behind me. And I'm like, y'all can go ahead. Y'all can go in front of me. And time I said that, another old lady walked up. And she was like, oh, you going to let them go, but you ain't going to let me go? And then another one comes from behind her. And eventually, I was just like, no, I'm not. I got to get out of here. <laughs> no, okay? I was being nice to the first three. Right. Like, you was was okay? You didn't get no. here in time. Right, like you was uh you was late, so sorry, Gertrude, Mildred, y'all gonna have to wait. That's hilarious, no yeah. doubt, no doubt. Hey Jay, let me ask this, like, cause like, what would it take you to give hands to somebody that's violating your six feet and they sneeze on your neck? Like, what, like, would that, would that, would would, would that oh, be yeah. an automatic Hanson? Oh yeah, absolutely. At least like a, <laughs> at least like a choke, like a choke and back up kind of like press you up. I would have slapped the nigga who did that. Right. You, if you did, uh, you sneezed on me, I probably would right. react and slap you. Yeah. I might not punch you off game. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? I might not, because I understand like, it's allergy season. 
I mean, it's allergy season. I got allergies. I get it. But I will slap the shit out of you because, bro, you could have turned around and got hoe with that shit. Right. You ain't had to get me pimping. Like, because yeah. I'm going to slap you. She would have been mad and called right. somebody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then that's Dang. the thing. Like, it go, all goes back to, you know, we got all we are, all of us, all we got to do is listen to our kindergarten teachers. You know, wash your hands and sneeze. Like, cover your mouth when you sneeze. That's the basics of the shit. So, if you can't even do that shit. And you sneeze on me, yeah, you catching hands. Sorry. Yeah, I think I think that's the new instant fight. You know, with, with black mm-hmm. folks, there's some things that it's like an instant fight. I right. think sneezing on us is like a new instant fight. Like, <laughs> right. you out here sneezing on me with the Rona out here? Yeah. I, you got to catch these hands. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I might, you might have just gave me the Rona, so you got to catch these hands. Yeah. You know, like, ain't, cause ain't no getting out. Like, you can't go wash your hands. You know, they done sneezed on you. Like, you fucked at that point. Yeah. Bro, you, know? you sneeze with the wrong nigga in the hood right now with the road going around. You might end up body dog. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> clap, clap, hey, clap, that, clap, bro, clap. I know some niggas in Fayetteville right now. If you sneeze on them, nigga, they're going to go on live and tell everybody where you at and how they finna kill you. Mm. <laughs> They're going to they talk body about how, how paranoid they is because they done took all home tests. Nigga, they done took a drug test. They don't even know why. Okay? They will kill your fucking ass over that shit right now. The Rona? Nigga. Yeah, mm. that's just serious. That's just serious. Yeah. Um, what, Guys, with, with more and more cities going on stay orders, you know, like it's kind of going all, all around the country these days. I saw they, they put Virginia on a stay order until June the 10th. Mm. Um. Awesome. So I don't think this is going anywhere anytime soon. But with with that being said, what are some of the things that you guys are doing, like with your families and all of that, to kind of pass the time? Or what are the, what are the, some of the things that you think you'll be doing to pass the time if this if we if these things kind of continue to to stay here and we still in the house? Mm. Um, West Coast, I, West Coast. I'm gonna start with you, man. I would have started with to do with the family personally. I'm saving for last because he to do with the family. <laughs> you know, since we starting with me, really ain't really much changed. Like, I'm I'm basically a homebody by myselfish person anyway, mm. and a lot of my interactions happen via PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> so. True that. Really ain't much changed for me with regard to <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The, the the Rona ain't really done much different. So you an introvert. Personally. So, so you an introvert. You know, my cousin is still out in the group chat. No, he an introvert who want to be an introvert. Ah. ah. Mm. So he fronting. <laughs> He front you know, you know, Look, if West Coast, <laughs> my hey, cousin just look, 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 in the group chat. Some of y'all don't know some my, of the uh... listeners out there. I ain't, I ain't gonna cut him. Off. I'm gonna let him get back to the story like Kanye did, old girl. <laughs> but but look though, some of y'all don't know this nigga is Johnny Drama. Okay, like, uh, you ever seen so... Entourage? And, and if you was to ever if ever say okay, yeah, yeah, P, he an actor. You know, it's like Vinny Chase. Well, who, who's your who's your Entourage? Well, it, that motherfucker West Coast J is Johnny Drama. So. Don't let him lie to you. If that motherfucker had a briefcase full of money right now, he nigga, what? In an, in an account to back it up? Homebody right. my ass. You know what I'm saying? When, when that motherfucker's try, trying to sleep and recover, he would be a homebody. <laughs> doubt. Wow. No doubt. Wow. West Coast, what's up with that? Shots fired. Shots fired, yo. Shots fired, Shots yo. fucking fired, nigga. Well, I feel like people trying to play me right now, though. <laughs> <laughs> you ever get that? You ever get that creeping sensation truth, where it I'm feels like somebody truth, trying to play you on? I'm just telling the truth, man. You know what I'm saying, nigga? I know you, okay, nigga. Right now, that motherfucker will be on some beach with a mask on with some with some bad stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to I'm like, hey, you smash? I'm like, nah, I ain't even touch her yet, bro. She can't have my dick till she pay me. Like, I mean, bro, he was even saying shit like that. No. I know. <laughs> the, the crazy part is I wasn't gonna let him off the hook that fast, um, Hollywood Paul. I was gonna ask him, damn. So what you going if you just cool with being on the on the station for two months? What you gonna do about the cheeks? Thank you, thank you. So what's uh, so West Coast? It got to answer that one for me. What you gonna do about the cheeks for two months? 
I'm going into a monk like <laughs> deep meditative state. I'm about to attain freaking enlightenment in this motherfucker. In other oh, words, Pornhub. Oh, yeah, exactly. In other words, I'm fuck. I'm getting the cheeks. Fuck that. The corona got to come in here and see about me because I'm getting some cheeks some type of way. Damn it. Now I'm keeping it 100. Like, nigga, how you get the corona? Man, I called this chick over this fast, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They told us this, this, this social distancing. But I think, hey, man, we ain't had 10 people in the crib. I thought we was cool. It, exactly. You know it wasn't saying? 10. It wasn't 10. It was just me and her. And a six feet shit ain't last that long, but damn it, now come on, man. Back shots, man. No doubt. See, that's the part. Thank you, thank you. That's the way to do it. You got to do. That's some, why. He, that's why he's here today, guys. That's why he's no here. No doubt. I don't know what's going. I don't know what's going on. West Coast Shay over there. Hollywood Paul, man. What you, how you plan on spending spending your next two months in the crib? Man, for one, okay. I'm gonna be fucking, okay. <laughs> Look, I got, I got, I got a joke I'm working on about my cousin. She real belligerent. You know, one day we was in, we was in Bed, Bed what is it, Bed Bath and Beyond, and uh, she we were shopping for for sheets. My sister, you know, what I'm saying this is back when she was pregnant, and uh, my sister was like, uh, yeah, well, I'm looking for something like 700, 1200 count sheets or something like that, right? And my cousin was like, yeah, girl, you need that fine shit. So my sister was like, what you gonna do with them shits? And my cousin blurts out in front of this little old white lady, I be fucking on her. So, Damn. <laughs> bro, so in the, in the words of my cousin, I'm going to be fucking on them all over the house these next two, <laughs> whatever, months. Second, nigga, I'm going to definitely be uh, um, investing my time in playing video games with West Coast J. Uh, probably about to get me a PS4. Welcome uh, to the family. time I break down mm-hmm. and invest in one. Yeah, um, no doubt. I'm going to definitely... Uh, well, uh, hold, oh, I'm going to tell you to hold off because yeah. the PS5 come out in August. You might want to hold off. I've been hearing about that, man, but yeah. I, I think I'm going I'm to I'm take baby steps to it. Okay. At least, no. know, right now. Right. Now... I'm going to try to hold off because it's a time waster. You know what I'm saying? And I right. don't it it definitely is a time waster. Yes. And so, now I think that we're right. older. I don't think we grab that control stick as often as we like. I still reach for mine every now and then, but it is such a time waster. But uh, I don't think we reach for that controller as much as we used to. But man, with this Rona, man, I, it's, it's woo. You know, for yourself, pal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The thing, is, the thing is, I want to spend a, a good a good bit of this time taking advantage of the markets because uh, I've been I've been I've been practicing with with this uh, Think or Swim platform. You know what I'm saying? Um, and uh, I, I want to get into options a little more, and uh, and definitely some futures too, because the, the, the market's open, you know, pretty much all the time for that. But I really want to take advantage of it, man. Make some puts and see what I, what I could walk away with, and then hold on to some options that are going to expire, you know, later on uh, when this thing is predicted to do a, a little turnaround and see if the market's going to correct with some of the graphs and shit like that, and try to make some money, man. You know, so when this thing, when we get the, the travel ban lifted, I can go uh, go globe trot a little bit. Well, the, hold off on that because that's actually one, uh, one that's one of our questions um, in just a second. Um, Jay, man, what, what what you and your family doing, man? For um, are you you going you going to be like, man? Hey, my family driving me fucking crazy. I'm going to the man cave. Don't I'm not coming out for a week. <laughs> what you, what you got going on at the crib, man? For the next couple months? You, you just answered my fucking question. Enough said. <laughs> Simple plan. Well, Man, yeah. it's only been it's only been three weeks, man. Man, it's three of these motherfuckers in here. They killing me. <laughs> yeah. Like, I right, first of all, like I have like my kids are my kids. I can I can you know I'm I, I look mean enough. I can act crazy enough. Well, they still scared of me. They still think I'm crazy. Like you know, occasionally I kick a door in or some shit just to kind of remind them that I'm crazy. So they kind of <laughs> you know like. I tell them what to do, and they just right. got to do, it, you know. Right. Um, so as much as they get on my nerves, I can always just act crazy, and they'll calm down at least for an hour. But it's been it's been a while since, like, I've had to spend every minute of every day around my wife, and I kind of forget that like her attitude is fucking nuts. She's a fucking Puerto Rican New Yorker, so sometimes right. I have to like bite my tongue. Because it take me, you know, 
a long time to like get pissed off or something. But it's only so many. It's only so much of your attitude throughout the day. When you ain't seen me in two hours, why you get attitude with me? I ain't even deserve this. Um, right. They ain't say nothing about the no HR for when you work working from home. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, so when that shit comes up, I have to kind of have to like step away and then you can't leave and go nowhere. So it's just like you're stuck in it. But for the most part, it's good. But like you said, I just keep my distance and I am truly an introvert. Um, and you know, I'm good with being by myself all day. Ah, exactly. I ain't front like West. Um, but you know, so if, if they back doing their own thing all day and I look up and it's five hours later, I'm like, Oh shit, y'all still here. So I'm good. No doubt. I tried to play Madden. Like I ain't playing, I ain't played PS, I ain't played PlayStation in forever. I mean, I say probably like eight, 10 years. Um, and uh, my son got Madden, of course, and, um, you know, he begging for me to play. I was like, okay, I'll play you just for my own, for personal, like, bragging reasons. Like I say, I ain't played in 10 years. I can still whoop your ass. So I go in there, I play him. It's not the same Madden that we're used to. It's not even like football. No, it's like, it is not. Right. It is. It's a class, I, nigga. That shit is a, a, it's a computer programming right. CSI1 <laughs> Cold writing, <laughs> right. white hat, fucking hacking class. Yeah, just sign up for an MIT. Only twelve people get admitted each year. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I'm still, I'm still like beating him with the basic shit, just because I still remember how to do that so well. But it's like a whole other shit. But like the gameplay, I guess there's a lot of sense in the same way football itself has changed so much. It's not even like football to me. Like the, like it's. You remember how the difference was in Madden and college football, where like you could score like ninety points in the college game, because yeah. um, it was so. That's how Madden is now. So I'm not used to like. There's really no defense, really, and of course he's young. He doesn't play on a, you know, on the highest level. So it was just different. Like by the third quarter, I was like, please just let this shit in. So I'm officially out of the out of the Madden game. Now let me ask y'all a question, like, because y'all y'all when we Madden was serious for us. So we, we before we turned before we played a down, we <laughs> turned the game on. <clears throat> before we played a snap, we would turn the settings up to the highest settings, and then we would turn the tickers all the way up. Right, all men, all all men, yeah, all men oh, and the yeah. tickers all the way up. All do way y'all man. be getting? Do y'all be getting as mad at these fucking kids when you go turn when they when they like? Beating the, the computer and all that, and you go and they playing on like rookie rookie, rookie mode with the settings are down. Like I'm, I, I get, I immediately get like fighting, like fighting mm-hmm. mad. Like, <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, because um, it's not football. It's not like you are playing. It's like you really just, I don't know. It's like it's like basketball in in pads. You get what I'm saying? Like they don't. You know, it's not even back. It's not even as physical as basketball. I can't even. I don't even know a sport that's not. It's like hopscotch in pads. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah I get I'm mad, bro. Like I, I go, <laughs> I, go I, I get the, I get the yelling at my nephews. They be like, "Damn, what's wrong? With, oh, he's five. He's he twelve. Like, why are you playing this shit on this easy ass setting, boy? You don't know about <laughs> I'm for real. I just go in, yeah. and then, then they I gotta get like, mad at you because it's a challenge for them. Right. 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 And so then I then I then I actually so you know the, my older nephews might show off and then they actually turn the settings up and then they get that ass beat and then I'm right. satisfied you know right. so right yeah but yeah I thought I thought it was just me I thought it was just me nah bro oh, you don't respect their video game playerness no they I don't can't. respect at all don't respect none of that shit okay they stick they stick Fuck skills to suspect right then you want to put like put, put some put some money on the game then motherfucker. Since y'all good, put some money on the game. And they don't want to put no money on the game. They ain't got no money because they're too young and shit, you know. Yeah, where your, mo- where your, mo- that's what, that's what, where your mom at? Yeah, but this boy owe me $5. Right, right, right. Mm. Um, hey, man, so I guess I, let's, um, let's see, for me, um, well, I'm just, I mean, I, I got, I got so much stuff to do, um, I feel like I don't I don't feel like I'm going to be bored. Um, <clears throat> I am still trying to go, you know, I'm suited and booted, masked up and all that. So I'm still trying to go see my parents. 
um, you know, check on them, that type of stuff. Um, you know, just make sure we're real, we're real careful and things like that. So I still, I'm gonna still try to do the. I'm not gonna make a couple runs over to my mom's and stuff like that. So I'm gonna still try to do that type of stuff. Um, but just being in the crib, man. Um, I don't know, man. I think I'm gonna do. Um, you know, I love to read, so I'm, I'm definitely be reading and um, probably catching up on old series and. Um, probably doing a lot of writing and researching, um, you know, uh, working and, um, I don't know, man. Oh, I, 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 I hit Jay up last week, um, one day last week and like, I hadn't seen a lot of people. So I like called Jay on, <laughs> I called Jay on duo the video chat. Like, nah, nigga, I need, and I need for you to call me on, I need to see human beings. So yeah, I think I think I think we all gonna be a little stir crazy, you know, when we when we finally do get out of this thing and we can like get to see people again. So, but um, you know, that's that's pretty much it for me. Um, speaking of which, what does, does anybody? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do when we they this thing is finally breaks and they like, all right, y'all y'all can go back to normal? Cause yeah, I think I'm gonna fucking love it, but I can't wait. To, I can't wait to see people again. <laughs> um, Hollywood Paul, man. Um, what's the first thing you're going to do when they let you off house arrest? Are you muted? You muted? Oh, yeah. Fuck it, we're coming. Huh? West Coast J, was yeah, that I'm your muted. cat? I'm muted. I'm muted. Yeah, yeah I was his cat. I was sitting there talking. I'm like, what the fuck? Why ain't y'all saying nothing? <laughs> But yeah, nah, man. I don't know, man. I'm trying to go. I'm actually trying to go play play around a golf somewhere, man. Like I wanted, I wanted to get into golf. Someone want to start picking up on. And I actually want to start. I want to go to the uh, over there. To, uh, what is it? L.A. Fitness. I want to uh, sign up for that little adult league and hoop. Since you know we can we can have contact with motherfuckers again. That way I could I could bust old West Coast J ass and finally shut him up. Since he he swear to God he gonna he gonna do me on the court, but. I don't know. Oh, wow. <laughs> can West Coast Jay West Coast? Can you, can you hoop West Coast? Bruh, see, he's now. He's he front, bruh. This man told me. Bruh, God's bruh, name, what I tell me. somebody who is legitimately <laughs> five <laughs> inches taller than me. He, he told me and this. played yeah. collegiate basketball that I will bust their ass. He would told me. Make he that told make me. sense to me. He told me this. He told me this. He said, bro, you ain't never, I was like, bro, you ain't never seen me who? He was like, you ain't never seen me who? I was like, dog, you don't want none of these problems. He was like, you don't want these problems. Bro, I'm telling you, it is what it is. You can see me. We can go who? Bro, he want to remember it because it was, a little bit of, it was a little bit of rum infused and shit. Okay, see? No doubt. So they do, man. It's all right. Hey, I got, I'm going to have to get, I'm going to have to get a, some footage of that game. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get some footage of that game. Uh, Jay, Jay, you seen either one of them hoop? Did we lose Jay? Then we lost him. Nah, he's back now. I see him back now. Jay, you you with us? Oh, ho! I'm sure he he'll, he'll jump back in. Um, West Coast. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when you get off house arrest? I'm going directly to the airport, going somewhere else. Where? I don't know. Somewhere where it's also free to move about the country again. <laughs> you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we hear you. We hear you. Yeah. Cool. No doubt. No doubt. Oh, so that 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 Southwest commercial gonna be real, real hit and like boom. You're not. You're now free to move about the country. Uh, straight up. Like, I'm going act- somewhere. I told you, the first thing that happened to me was the Rona ruined my vacations. Right. It so did. I'm up out to somewhere. No doubt, man. Well, well, we'll be here to see where you went, man. And hopefully it's soon. Uh, Jay, man, when when you finally up off, up off house arrest, man, <laughs> what you going to do with yourself? Um, Again, I got, you know... um. The other ones attached to wherever I go. So um, first thing we're doing is we're going somewhere to eat, like where we can actually sit down somewhere else, and I ain't got to cook. 
Uh, we ain't got to cook. You know, we can just go in and order some shit and eat and sit down. So definitely that. That'll be a smaller thing. But then I'm going immediately to some uh, professional sporting event. I can't deal with this no sports shit no more, man. So I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> so whether it's ideally it'll be uh, football season will be able to happen, and I'm going to a Steelers game in Pittsburgh. Uh, but if, if if that don't happen, I'm going it, again. I'm, if it's a professional hopscotch tournament, I'm going to something. Professional <laughs> no doubt. You and you, he is and going to the professional underwater basket weaving league. <laughs> right. 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 We're going to get the hey. pickleball championship. Uh, right. You're going to make, make a whole lot of fucking noise. Hey, exactly. Like, I'm going to something because uh, it's only so many times I can watch the, the, the 88, the 1988 NBA playoffs, like I love that shit. Right. They keep no. rerunning all of it, right? <laughs> right. I'll just watch the Olympics today. The, 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 the redeem team, the, the second team. Uh, right. I'll just watch so, that joint. Man, so yeah, I'm, uh, so that'll be the the bigger plan is the the first uh, ideal professional sporting event. I will be there. No doubt, no doubt. Damn, you took mine too, because you know, uh, you know, I I love professional sporting events, so. Yeah. Um, let's see what I'm going to do. I'm kind of stuck. I'm, I like, I like your idea of West Coast and I like your idea too, Jay, of like, I, I got to go to some prof- professional sporting event and I got to hit some restaurant and drop like 200 on a, just a meal that I don't got to cook. And I don't care if it's six lobsters with filet mignon, like I don't, I don't care. In fact, I'm gonna save some of my stimulus just so I can do that shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, at, like I'm about to do a clever combination of all three. I'm gonna fly to somewhere, go to a professional sp- sporting event, and mm-hmm. then hit up a overpriced something restaurant. Right. No doubt, man. It's gonna have to Not be good. something. Like, it's gonna have to be something like that, man. This shit, and I, and you know what? I think most of the country thinking like that. Like whatever this shit, whatever this shit pop, motherfuckers gonna lose their minds. <laughs> motherfuckers gonna be outside losing their minds, dog. I can't wait, man. It's gonna be, it's gonna be amazing. Um, but you know, once again, man. Shout out to. Um, all the first responders. I look. I I know it's I know it's real out there. Um, they don't have enough equipment. They don't have enough masks. They don't have enough personal protective inf- um personal protective equipment. They don't have enough. They don't have enough ventilators. And they out there working double and triple shifts, man. So for, I mean, I know we joke about it, but this is serious. So man, everybody stay home, man. Do what they're asking. Um, don't be out there being too crazy, and 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 we should be able to flatten this curve. As soon as we can, man. But shout out to all of those that are on the front lines, um, you know, grocery store workers, all, all, all of y'all, man. Like, salute to you. Absolutely, yeah, yeah man. Um, and 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 a big middle finger to everybody who's giving those people hell right now, man. If you uh, mistreating your, you know, your grocery store workers or your delivery drivers, and you want to, you know, cuss at people for leaving packages at your door, like. Big middle finger to you, and and uh, I'm, I'm I'm officially step all the way over to unsupervised. Fuck you, if you uh, you give me all them all you know all those workers any kind of grief, man. They doing stuff that nobody else wants to do. No doubt, and and their lives are on the line every time they right. every time every time they touch your money or every time they you know deal with the next customer or what they putting they they putting their life on the line too. So absolutely, right. I'm right. Hey, West Coast J, man, we got some bills to pay, man. Let's run or something. I feel like we could do that. That's a, this sounds like a good time for that. Y'all, hang on. on for just a moment. We're told that greatness is exceptional when it should be expected. You choose every day to live your life intentionally without apology for how bright your light may shine. So go be great. Go be brilliant. Go be you. Go Defy Life. The Defy Life movement is one that speaks to each of us in its own way. Defy Life gear speaks to us all by reminding us that one size does not fit all. Visit DefyLifeGear.com to get fitted for greatness. And we are back. Y'all make sure you do go visit DefyLifeGear.com. I feel like there's something, something new in the works there. 
Oh, yeah? What yeah. <laughs> What's going on new out there? Shit, man, uh, oh, y'all need to go check it out again. Y'all go uh, visit defylifegear.com. Unsupervised now has its own gear, so definitely uh, go check out the uh, the podcast gear section. Um, Unsupervised will be up this week, so you'll have T-shirts and hoodies and all that shit out there, so go represent my boys, man. So it's dope, dope stuff. And like West Coast Jay said, that fucking logo is fire. No doubt, no That's doubt. Hey, high. man. Y'all, y'all seen them shits yet? Yeah, man. <clears throat> Boy, I seen one of them. Oh, I need, I need all, every color, like oh. a real, real tight, large. So you know what I'm saying? It could look <laughs> real, real buff on me. You know what I mean? Cot. <laughs> y'all, because y'all know this a cot. Every time I pitch, I just do the Martin shit, bad boys. When he like, you just a cot, diesel nigga. Like, anyway. <laughs> 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 that's yeah, that's Hollywood water, Paul, man. He just water, a, water a, peers, a, extra medium, a strong so he real tight. Yeah, right. He gotta wear extra medium, and he like six five and shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> bro, it fits my contours good, man. Quit hating. <laughs> I'm walking around with the Ezekiel Elliott half shirt on. Right. Oh, um, looking like prime time with a couple gold chains on though. <laughs> Oh man, well, yeah, y'all definitely uh, you know go check out the. Everybody's been doing a great job of supporting all the podcasts. So um, the again, the unsupervised shirts will be up this week. So go cop yours, man. Tell somebody about it so they can cop one too. No doubt, no doubt. Defy Life gear. Um, check out the whole network, man. Go to life um, dot com, defylifepods dot com. Um, definitely mess with us, man. We we here bringing bringing y'all the movement, man. We can't do it without y'all. So um appreciate it. Can't wait to see y'all in those in those unsupervised and spinoff t shirts, man. I'm I'm I already know I'm a cop that blue and that shit crazy. Mm. Um so yeah, man, I can't wait to see it. Check out our Facebook page on social media, the Fly um sorry, unsupervised and spinoff podcast uh Facebook page. Uh don't forget to follow us, um, comment, um, follow the shows, um, share and all of that good stuff, man. We need you. We need you. Hey man, um, now it's time for our. I want to be, what's becoming everybody's favorite segment, our wacky stat of the week. Um, you know, last year, I mean last last um, episode, um, we talked about Drake a little bit with those crazy stats that he put out last year, and um, Drizzy, Drizzy, um, I got man, a little yeah, something. Soldier, Soldier Boy said he made Drake dope, man. You know what I'm saying? That's Soldier. Drake, <laughs> sorry, shout out Soldier Boy, man. Every, I don't know why I feel like I got to shout out both out. <laughs> Every Soulja time, Soldier Boy made a lot of shit, but he ain't make Drake. He no definitely doubt. did not make that. <laughs> right. I just like I just like that reference in that interview because <laughs> that shit is classically hilarious. It is. Hey, hell yeah. <laughs> no. Hey, that, yeah, they they made a meme out of it. So it's, a, it's a hot meme. Yeah, I, I know every, every I know everybody's seen it. Um, this week, this week on shift years a little bit. Um, let's well, say there's four of us on this show, all, all, all African American black males. Um, and I already know the answer to this, but y'all don't, so I'm gonna ask. Um, of everybody on this show, not, not including just the playoffs in the World Series, how many of y'all watch baseball? Not it depends. Occasion. Yeah, on occasions. No. On occasions. No, I barely watch the World Series, so no. <laughs> no hey, me either, man. I, I, in fact, I hmm. couldn't tell you who played in not last year's, but the previous year's World Series. Or maybe it was Houston, because I think that's the year they got busted for cheating. So maybe hmm. it was Houston and the Red Sox. All right. My first professional sporting event I attended in my life was a professional baseball game. Yo, I used to love baseball when I was like me, like me too. My dad used to take me to the Mets game. I used to love baseball, but um, I guess just like me, only only nine percent of Americans say that baseball is their favorite sport to watch, and um, that's crazy because I thought it was America's pastime. Pastime, pastime, yeah. Uh-huh. Right, mm-hmm. Jay, Jay would probably go in real hard on how baseball is not a real sport. I could, but uh, so, I don't want to. I don't want to hijack the the segment. But yes, I could. 
<laughs> I'm well. We we gonna have to because what up with that? Like, what's up? With, are they fooling us when they call? Is that a is that a marketing ploy? Nine percent doesn't mean favorite pastime. I could think of, I could think of a lot of things that I would like to watch before I watch baseball. Um, you know, I, I'd rather watch, um, of course football, but you know, I, I I'd rather watch the f the f the uh, arena uh, hop, hopscotch. Maybe I'd rather watch the WNBA than watch baseball. <laughs> right, oh, like I'm, <laughs> especially right. yo, especially like regular season game number one hundred and four. Like, right, and that's that's my biggest <laughs> issue with baseball is like so many of the games are meaningless. Um, <laughs> you know, when you like, like just statistically speaking, the. A regular season baseball game is ten times less important than an NFL game, so you know just 160 games versus 16. So when you're playing four games a week, it's no way you can keep up with all that. It's no way you can like stay enthused about game after game after game, especially you're when you're saturated too much. Right? right, exactly, and you know, and you literally have dudes who can play an entire baseball game and not get their uniform dirty. That shit ain't good. <laughs> they could play an entire baseball game and not break a sweat. Well, exactly. I, used to play, I play left field. But sometimes I was so bored. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, but of course, if, if 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 there's contact, you have places where you need to be, depending on how the rotations go. But still, like, you can literally play a whole game and not not see any action. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. But why do y'all think that is? Is that nine percent? That's that's. That's that's. I mean, it's 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 more people in America that think. I mean, if you, if you listen to this segment, <laughs> it's more people in America that you know that can't read, that don't know the three levels of government. I mean, it's 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 crazy. That's not a lot. Right. Yeah. Um. And I'm sure if you ask this question again, like on y'all's hundredth episode, that number will be lower. The shit is dropping. Like right. fewer and fewer people, especially the youth, because especially like the, the one thing, there's two things baseball does doesn't do that's affecting its growth and longevity. Two, they don't appeal to the youth. Um, there, there's so many like purists in baseball that they don't they don't they're unwilling to change and they don't they don't appeal to younger crowds. And two, they don't appear to they don't appeal to black folks. Um, mm. you know, um, so, and they're still unwilling to change that outside of like small pockets of people who set up programs. But as a whole, baseball is such a purist game that they're con- going to continue to fall in relevance and they really don't care. So Hollywood Paul, you think, you think they, they owe that America's pastime. You owe, you think they owe that back to football or basketball or, 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 or even soccer for, for God's sake. Well, uh, well, if, if you're applying it to the times of if, applying it to the times of now, uh, yes, uh, I think I think times have changed, and and that that no longer is America's pastime. Um, but at one point in this country, uh, the, you know, that's kind of all they had to distract them from the hardships that were going on. So it's kind of like, you know, they're holding on to that and, and milking it till it's dry. <laughs> which so which is drying up. I mean, you can tell they they try to reinvent themselves within their format, but you know. Yeah, it's just not. I mean, they try some stuff with the with their All Star Game and the Home Run Derby and just the, like event, like and the, of course the marquee people watch the mark people watch the Red Sox people watch the Yankees, uh, people watch the Dodgers, you know things like that. And I'm sure in those cities those fans support those teams. But so when in 1972, when baseball got the moniker America's favorite pastime up like 40% of them, that was their favorite sport to watch. And, mm. um, that that's more so what you would think would be the percentage of, of America's favorite pastime. So, um, that's a huge, but like Jay said, that's a huge drop from 40% to 9%. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know baseball. Yeah. I mean and you know, me and me and Al have this conversation all the time is 
you know, again, like West Coast said, I don't consider baseball a sport. It's a, it's a skilled event. It takes a lot of skill to play baseball, but it doesn't necessarily mean, you know, it doesn't being an athlete does is not a prerequisite for being a base, a great baseball player. Like, um, so it's not, it's not a sport. It's not an athletic sport. It's a skill event. So one of the hardest things to do in, in, in all of quote unquote sports is hit a baseball, but it doesn't make you an athlete. Um, when you see dudes like Bartolo Colon, um, you know, Fernando <laughs> Valenzuela, like <Right. laughs> participating like at, at the highest level and going to all-star games, that in itself tells you that you don't have to be an athlete to, to be great at baseball. <laughs> so, so Bo Jackson was just a highly skilled athlete. Right. Yeah, exactly. Like being an athlete doesn't hurt. Of course. Um, they ain't saying there are no athletes in baseball. You're a great athlete. Yes. Of course it's going to help, but there are plenty of dudes like <laughs> If you have if you give a dude a thousand two thousand at bats, take him from the NFL or the NBA, he could become a great baseball player. Um, you can't do that with baseball. You can't take. I, a won't, dude. I won't say great. I'll say oh, I'll say decent. Yeah, he, decent. He can, yeah, I yeah. won't say great. Well, he might have get well, caught up to the majors, but he might he'll he'll, he'll uh, play AAA. You know. Well, he can become great. Like, like great. Deion Jay? Okay, Deion Sanders made an All Star game. After leaving baseball, hey, leaving football. Deion and- Sanders was a pitch hitter, though. He wasn't a. He was. He was a run hitter. He wasn't a. Uh, he wasn't Ooh. a guy that steps to the plate and knock out a home run. They put him in a fucking steal bases. No, Deion started like Deion made an all star. Yeah. He made an all star game. He did. He did. He know he stole home plate a lot of times, bro. He, he broke records doing that shit for that team. Right. That's what I'm saying. You That's can walk. They, so they use his athleticism. To- but I don't think he was a great <laughs> baseball player. No, yeah, they listen, they they brought him in on a on like, a school contract just for his his ability right. to steal bases. Like Ken, like right. Ken Griffey Jr., Derek which is, Jeter, though which they're is, great baseball players. Which so is my which is my point. If you can not be a like, if you can not be a great skilled baseball player, but you're a great enough athlete that you can still shine enough amongst all these other non athletes. I get what you're saying. And you can it's just like, step you can't off a baseball player. You can't take Derek Jeter, drop him in. At right, the Cleveland Cavaliers camp right now, and he, <laughs> exactly. and he outbeat uh, Della Vadova for a fucking exactly. third spot. I got right. you. I got you. Della Vadova cook his bacon. I already know. Right, Delhi Delhi would what? Delhi would run him out the exactly. gym. Like it's literally dudes that ain't played baseball since high school, and they do that shit on a whim. Like ah, I'm just gonna leave the NBA or the NFL and go play baseball. Like they do that shit all the time. And they at least make it professionally to like double A, triple A. Some of them make it to the majors. Like, never have you seen like, never have it. Shit, Tim Tebow no, flamed Johnson out. Did not go start for the Indianapolis Colts with exactly. his rocket laser arm and throw right. a touchdown. Like Tim no, Tebow, right. fl- like flamed out of the NFL completely, and he was yeah. like four years later, like fuck it, I'm just gonna play baseball. Like anybody can do that. I ain't say anybody, but you know what I'm saying. Like you, you can't take like even even the highest like the highest athletes in baseball. Like I, I find it hard to believe that you know if Ken Griffey Jr. would have stepped out and said, you know what, I'm gonna go play receiver for the Redskins. Nope, that shit ain't happening. <laughs> You're right. I now that I that I'll give you that I will give you. And usually it's the other way around where the the phenomenal athlete or the phenomenal football player just so happens to also be playing baseball right it's and they ain't like, played since eighth grade like i remember i was a, michael jordan was like i i remember i was 12 and my dad wanted me to be a baseball player this nigga made it to triple a that shit is hard like for baseball players to make it to triple a this yeah. nigga just stepped out and said you know what fuck it i'm gonna go bat 200 in the, in the triple a for a year like just on a whim right but they can't be great they can't be great and like you there there's you know, there's still some skill in in in. I, and I'll tell you this, I I probably I started playing baseball when I was eight eight years old, mm. and I probably practiced like so. You you talk about how sometimes the games are. I probably did more work in practice than I did in the games. Oh yeah, absolutely. And, I mean, that's every and, sport, though. So. And yeah, sure. I, well, yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's true. That's yeah. true. That's true for every sport too. But the gap is wider in baseball. Yeah, though. but the gap yeah, is very yeah. is much wider. Like much, I literally, much you could chill for you can chill for a whole baseball game. <laughs> like literally, I remember I hated baseball. 
Only reason I played my dad was my coach, right? Um, but like I remember like being at first base and luckily I was involved because dudes had to throw the ball to me. But I remember sitting at first base, like looking out in like right field, left field, and these niggas are sitting down on their gloves. Like, when we was in Little League. Like, they literally sitting down. I remember there was a kid that would sit down because he had nothing to do. Like, in what other sport can you, like, literally come to the conclusion, I ain't got shit to do, I might as well sit down. No doubt. No doubt. But, hey, man, that's probably why, man. That's probably why. Um, Little League has some popularity still. Um, it, it, It's probably, I, I would say it's, it's more popular. A, a Little League World Series games is probably more popular than a baseball regular season game. Yeah. Yeah, like the ones that, that yeah, the ones that look like make it the ESPN and shit. Mm-hmm. Like the whole turn even the whole tournament is insanely popular. Right. Um baseball baseball definitely has some work to do, but man, that's our that's our wacky side of the week, man. Um nine mm. percent America America's America's pastime. You know, no doubt. No doubt. Damn shame what they did to that dog. <laughs> hey man, y'all ready to talk some politics? Let's do it. Absolutely. Well, we don't have a ton of politics, but there's a couple things. Um, first of all, every, it seems like every day now our, our president gives an amazing uh, press conference on the on the coronavirus, and um, every day I watch him, I just it it just reinforces that. This guy is such a fucking narcissist. Like, I mean, he he literally can't he can't talk about anything without giving himself credit for, you know, whatever good thing happened. But um, any anybody got to see any of his press conferences in the last three or four days? I quit. Yep. <clears throat> I saw it. Yeah, I saw a tweet that said he was uh. His press conferences are getting higher ratings than whatever shows he listed. And that's when I was just like, yeah, he this dude just in this for the wrong reasons. I don't even pay attention no more. Oh, yeah, he tweeted that about... I, I mean... Today, because I watched a little of his press conference, I watched some on uh, Saturday, and then I watched some today. And um, this guy, man, he... I... I I don't know. Um, to first, he's well. Everybody, everybody jones them about the comment of um, people are out here dying that's never died before. So of course, black people, we make a meme out of everything. We made that into a meme. It's caught caught fire all around the internet. Um, then he said, "Oh." Um, West Coast, what'd he say? He said, um, well, oh, with the uh oh, the uh oh segment last week. What's like, <laughs> he the said, uh oh, said, uh oh, and ran off the stage like a child. He said, uh oh, and dipped the fuck out. Hell yeah. Um, and today he, he said that his impeachment <laughs> was distracting. Are probably distracting um, the government from being prepared uh, for the uh, for the virus. And um, I just like paused my TV, like what? And then he was like, so th- of course he had to talk about that. Then then he had to get into the fact that the impeachment was illegal. Uh, mm. Probably, probably. Then he's because he, he does that. He'll say it was illegal. Probably illegal. They uh, many people say it was. That's how he talks. Many people say it was illegal. All right. Um, and then they'll say, um, you know, so I, so probably it was illegal. I mean, you know, people that really don't know what they talking about said it was illegal. <laughs> so right. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just get that to y'all. And let you think about that and confuse you a little bit. Shit, smell illegal. It must be illegal. It's oh, illegal. No doubt. They did that shit. He did that shit. All right, no doubt. Um, but his counterpart. So they we they passed the stimulus. Stimulus passed uh, uh, the Congress and the Senate. There's a lot of provisions in in, in these laws um, for protections for workers, um, insurance coverage, termination insurance coverage, things of that nature. Um, 
But Americans are also aware that Canada passed a similar bill, and their bill is giving their citizens $2,000 a month for, I think, the next three or four months. And I heard Nancy Pelosi say over the weekend that this is just like a down payment. This is just like a starter um, because Americans are going to need more help than just one check for $1,200. Um, so what y'all think about that? She I right. think she's right. <laughs> right. I think that if senators and congressmen can constantly give themselves raises and pay themselves for a publicly elected job they chose to do, which I don't think they should even get paid for except for like basic necessities. And yeah, I said that on the show. But anyway, the fact that they can get rich. <laughs> no doubt. That, the fact that they can get rich off of that, you know, I mean, I'm not knocking it because I, I, I want to do that someday myself. But that's another story. The fact that they can get rich off of that, I think they got plenty of money. I mean, we're we're in the in the place where we we print our own money based off our labor force. So what are we? What's going on? What, what y'all been doing with all this money? Where's been? Where's that? Let's pay it out. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they, they, you'll bail out the car the car industry. You bail out the banks. Bail out the people, baby. You know what I'm saying? That's that's a, a form of the currency as well. All right. Right. Yeah, this whole thing to me is it's an exercise in how easy it is and how able we are to do shit that we just refuse to do. And when I say we, I mean us as a society, us as people um, that that are able to do things we're just not willing to do for others. But when shit hits the fan, it's always easy to do. Like this shit, they can help. Like they, people complain about socialism or you know, or helping out, you know helping out the feeding the homeless or welfare. But when they need, it's always easy to give or it's always easy to receive. Um, you know, corporations and jobs say, oh, shit, you know, I wish we could let y'all work from home, but it's impossible for us to do. Shit hits the fan. You got a fucking laptop in the docking station in two days. You know what I'm saying? So this is just an exercise. It's a microcosm of the shit that we're able to do. We're just not willing to do until shit hits the fan. So... Um, she's right. There, it will need to be more, and it will be more because shit is hitting the fan, and it's not just affecting the people; it's affecting the powers that be. So they're gonna do whatever it takes to fix it. No doubt, no doubt. Well, I don't know. I don't know if everyone's very happy about this. I'm gonna play something from y'all. Mm-hmm. It's a clip from the Young Turks, and this is South Carolina Republican Senator <laughs> Lind- Lindsey Graham. So I'm gonna play this for you guys, and I want to get your thoughts pass a bill that would give you a pay raise if you got unemployed. I want people to get their income while they're unemployed, but I don't want to increase their wages because you incentivize people to leave their job. In this bill, uh, you'll have 50 to 150 percent pay raises for people if they leave the workforce. Good luck with Amazon hiring 100,000 people because the unemployment benefits in South Carolina equal $23 an hour. How are you going to hire people in South Carolina when you're competing with government wages at $23 an hour? There's a lot of good in this bill. I'm going to vote for it. There are medical supplies that nurses and doctors and hospitals need. Mnuchin's done a good job very much trying to keep the Democrats from putting their Green New Deal into the bill. But here's what we've done. In the name of doing good, we're going to make it hard for the next four months for employers to find workers, and we're going to incentivize people to leave the workforce because the first time in my lifetime, America will pay you more not to work than work. He started that argument off by saying... Gentlemen. (laughs) 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 <laughs> I, I don't what do y'all give me some thoughts on that well first off I'm trying to figure out where he's getting his $23 an hour information from who's getting that kind of money from unemployment or from the stimulus from unemployment or well, from the stimulus right that, he's saying that the unemployment insurance that the stimulus pays out it it can it can be up to twenty three dollars an hour. Well, yeah, but like in order to get like that's what it was like in order to get that you have to be making a certain amount more than that from your the your previous year's salary. 
Right. Everybody so, just don't automatically get that shit. <laughs> right. So in order to make twenty three dollars an hour, and I'm just taking a you know a wild shot here, you probably were making thirty five dollars an hour on your job. So in order to get the twenty three, folks that was making twelve dollars an hour ain't getting twenty three dollars an hour in, <laughs> in unemployment insurance. They're gonna probably get nine. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying is I hate to hear people who are in leadership positions either blatantly or unwittingly make uninformed decisions. Like, I hate that shit because then people actually believe them and that shit spreads, i.e. the guy we just finished talking about in the White House. So I'm yeah. going to get this out there. Unemployment benefits in South Carolina is approximately 50% of your average weekly wa- wage during your base period, subject right. to a weekly minimum of $42 and a maximum of $326. <laughs> and benefits are available for up to 20 weeks. Oh. So, But I think, yeah. I, I think that this law changes that if, there, if you are unemployed due to like the coronavirus event, it kicks in this extra stuff. That's what I think. Right. That's what he's talking about. Through the, the stimulus has certain provisions where you can get more money. But again, you have to be making a certain amount in order to get a certain amount. It ain't like everybody just going to show up and be like, yeah, you know, I, I, I make I make ten dollars an hour. I'm going to go sign up for unemployment insurance through the stimulus, the stimulus. And I'm going to get twenty three dollars. That ain't how this shit works. So, you know, like. Again, it's a you but, know, there, there's things that have to be met in order to get that. Right. And but in his mind, this is how things work, and this is why for the first time in his life, right, America will pay you more to not work mm. than so he is very upset. I'm mm. gonna vote for the bill because it's you know, people are hurting, but um I don't really want to. <laughs> right. Then again, it's creating a narrative amongst people who don't know any better. So I, I would say South Carolina, that's your senator, but both of our Republican ass senators probably think just like mm-hmm. that. Right. In fact, one, one of them is now in major trouble for um, West Coast. When, when he trying to – didn't he know about the virus and then he sold all his stock or something, sold $1.3 million worth of stock to avoid losses? Mm-hmm. Um, North Carolina's Senator Burr, isn't that his name? Not Tillis. It wasn't Tillis. It was the other guy, Burr, I believe. But um, yeah, he's he's been caught with with his hand in the cookie jar, so we'll mm-hmm. we'll see we'll see how that works out. But um, inside I think trading. these inside yeah inside of trading, which is a a, a mm-hmm. felony a felony and federal offense. They put so, all that. That's ass moth. Damn right. That's what I was ass moth about that shit. So um, yeah, he could be headed for some big trouble, uh, North Carolina senator. So, but um. That's it for the politics, man. We're going we gonna to end them, and we're going to get into our topic of the night, man. <laughs> y'all, ready to, y'all ready to bring some more heat? You ready, bro? Hey, man. This one, uh, last week I thought we had a very interesting topic of the night, man. Um, it was a very, very professional, very real conversation about um, being a black man in the professional workforce in America. I thought it I thought it was real ill. Um but today we're gonna bring it back to a little something something a little more fun, a little less serious. Um this week our main topic is um gentlemen, when when you're trying to get someone's attention of the opposite sex, um you're trying to attract them, what are some of your tactics? What are some of your lines? What are some of the things you do? What are some of the things you say? How do you get their attention? And um <laughs> Let me see what that game looked like. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, in, Mr. Introvert, I'm going to start with you. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the real one or the, or the, or the fake one? The, the fake one. We're going to start with the fake one. <laughs> Johnny, I never said introvert. Y'all keep trying to play me, man. <laughs> <laughs> what I Fucking said was Johnny Brown, man. Oh, he true. did say homebody. He did. He did. My bad. My bad, dog. You did say that. <laughs> he don't want us to interpret. With Hollywood the Paul said introvert, and I just ran with it. Right. You know, That's did. what I'm saying. And then, like, and then money passed me. The the blatant lies. Went, <laughs> this is awful. Putting words in people's mouths, all the et cetera. 
We bored. So, That's what we with regard to the actual main topic, I will begin real simply. The sense of your five senses, the sense of, the sense of smell is most connected to your memory. It's the quickest way to make somebody remember you or the quickest way to make somebody absolutely forget you or want to Preach. forget you. Oh. So first things first, you got to smell amazing. My cologne game is no joke. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what's on, frequently, what's one, I would one get text favorite, messages one from the young Hollywood what's Paul who says things like, Hey, pimp, I'm going to need to come borrow about two squirts, two sprays. <laughs> I said two squirts. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's, what's, what's one of the things that you're rocking? Oh, I'm supposed to just give out trade secrets now? No, I mean, shit. one not you don't have to give me your top five yeah. dead or alive, Here's but just I'll one. Do. I'll tell you how to find the best one. I'll do school. that Bye. because, in all honesty, everybody's body chemistry is different. True. Yeah, now, I these got, are things. Yeah, when I was true. living in Denver, I had a fragrance lady, for lack of a better way to put it. Like I ended up just going into Nordstrom, and this lady busted. She broke down cologne to me in a way that was so individualized it mm. was impressive like it was it was impressive what she did it started with well the first thing you do is you want to go find something that when you're going out to buy cologne i got real simple rules rule number 1 do not buy cologne from a young lady or a dude who is not gay okay uh-huh. Young ladies are just trying to make you smell like their boyfriend. Mm. Mm-hmm. Now you talking you talking about the young ladies at the at the cologne boutiques? Correct. The people that okay. are at the counter. Okay. Young ladies want you to smell like what like what like their boyfriend. Shit, so yeah, right. And straight men are just in it for the paycheck. Uh-huh. So all they trying to do is get you to buy the most expensive one. Okay. So you really need to find an old lady or an older lady or a gay man because those two will tell you the truth without question. If you spray something and you spray it on yourself, they'll look at you like, mm, that's not, honey, that's not for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So with that in mind, the other thing is you also have to kind of do a little bit of a test. So I'll walk around when I'm trying to figure out what I want. I like to bring a girl with me because immediately she'll give you instant feedback. Wow, I like the way that smells. You spray it on your skin. Wow, I like the way that smells on you. And then I like to walk around the mall, one spray, of one one of the two colognes I might be thinking about, one on one arm, one on the other, and then I find girls and ask them which smells better on me. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's that's so that's what compared, you end up that's with very is, complex. A, you walking around talking to a bunch of girls anyway. Right. And B, you actually find out what works for you to get the girls to want to stay around and talk to you. Well, how about if I spray one on each thigh and then I can just make get a little further with them when I'm asking them. <laughs> that sounds like some married people shit you say. That, that sounded yeah, like... Shit. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that ain't gonna work. Uh, I've, been out, I've been out the game too long? Okay. <laughs> that sounded that sound a little around antiquated. Out, a little, and little, I was praying long. That's 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 reach. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what I'm saying? Hey, I initially, I initially went there, but I was like, nah, that's too far. Let's do the inner thigh. So, uh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> so ain't, uh, no, ain't no such thing as too far. Sexual it's harassy. Right. <laughs> what if I walk up, spread a bitch in the eyes, grab a ball? <laughs> yeah, to quote no. the president, then you grab a body pussy. Uh, <laughs> wow. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, Kevin. <laughs> so... All right, so you find you a fragrance lady. 
Well, I, I can go ahead and say, I, I'll say one of my favorite colognes is that uh, VSL, uh, that YSL shit. Um, that shit smells so good on me. Um, it's one of my fa- it's one of my favorite colognes. Um, absolutely, YSL. Um, I forget the official name of it, but. I just call it YSL. I can tell that shit is real because you got real smooth when you start talking. You did, right? damn. You got yeah, like that nigga yeah, sound like he was yeah, running yeah, a, like a midnight mentioned. radio station. He did. Like we've been going a nice smooth Rocky Road. <laughs> <laughs> that, <laughs> that nigga went from was money to Isley Cheryl in the background <laughs> and everything. As soon as he started right. talking, that mother just yeah. came. Hey girl, ain't no mystery. Like where the fuck did what? the Isley Brothers come from? Right. <laughs> That nigga stuck his hand out like Gerald. What's your name? Yeah. <laughs> like, sh- yeah. That motherfucker when the time machine came out like Stefan Arkell, motherfucker. <laughs> right. No doubt. No doubt. Hey, um yeah. other other than the smells, other than the smell good, uh West Coast, what else you pulling out? I mean, real talk, that's the 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 first impression that's made mm-hmm. is the one that's the one that matters. Right. So if you smell amazing, then immediately you're already on their radar. Like there's pheromones mixed in it, it becomes something completely different. Um, I had a, a a gay fragrance dude tell me one day when I was trying to spray it on initially he goes oh no 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 you never spray cologne on your clothes you always spray it on your skin because then it mixes with your own pheromones and it'll attract people to you immediately Mm. preach brother preach that's what i'm talking about a lot of people don't know that a lot of people spray cologne on their clothes yeah and that's that's just the way that wear body spray we ain't talking to that 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 is stupid. Like we're no, not talking hey. to the people that wear Axe body spray. No, not at all. We're talking to people that pay, you know, forty, fifty dollars for a bottle of cologne. I'm trying to tell you, I'm talking to, I'm uh, talking to people who know the difference between eau de toilette and parfum. Oh shit! Oh, West Coast this out here preaching. Speaking French. This nigga spitting. <laughs> that nigga West Coast spitting. This nigga West Coast spitting. Jacques Parfum saying that this bitch, man. So what you're saying is you smell so good, you ain't gonna have to say shit. I literally uh-huh. had a cologne where when the lady she when she handed it to me, um, shout out to Melody at the Nordstrom to Cherry Creek Mall. I don't even think she's still there no more, but shout out to Melody. She wow. sprayed it and she said, quote, with this on, you don't even leave your name. Mm. Oh wow. Cologne guy. Jeez, that's deep right there. All right. All right, like, man. I've Hop. been places where I was standing in public and had a woman walk by me, do some shit, stop, and then go, someone smells delicious. Is that you? <laughs> Did you say yeah? And then smell it, let it tell it smell your thigh? <laughs> <laughs> you just spray it in the eyes. The inner thigh smell comes later. <laughs> You know, you generally lead those into a couple of ha 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 ha, and you're, you know, if you play your cards right, this is what your pillowcases will smell like in the morning. Oh shit! Oh shit! Spit! That's what I'm talking about. Hey, you see? Hey, you see him? You see him? Hey, Jay. Mm. Uh, Jay, I know you've been married since 1998, but yeah, man, I'm 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 nine years in, man. So you know, my wife. Well, for one, I'm 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 not a cologne guy, so. uh Yes, it gives me a headache, literally. So you I don't just wear keep it funky, nigga. Um, <laughs> uh, I, 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 I wear essential oils. Um, so, um, there's a whole different science in that. So, um, but I'm 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 a sapiosexual. So um, I'm attracted to, and I usually try to build a rapport through intellect and conversation. So that's I don't really have game. I just like making conversation and being myself, and I'm attracted to intellectual people. Um, so, you, so, so you invite her home to do some homework. That's how you do. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. okay. I, hey, I get may, some ass at the same time. That's good. I, I, I may end up doing her homework for her. 
Um, but yeah, um, yeah, um, you know, um, I can't connect with anyone who is not like who doesn't at least have a, th- a mild thirst for knowledge. So um, if you can't hold a decent conversation, um, you know, I'm, I'm just not with you, um, you know, on, on that frequency. So I, that's generally how I build any relationship is, is through uh, intellect and intellect and, and conversation. Oh, that's real. So it's just what a conversation leads you. You don't really have nothing, you know, you're just talking about the 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 stars and shit. You can well, talk about Right, yeah, anything. Um, you know, and part of part of intellect is, is is being funny. So, you know, I um you know, I could talk to draws off of any chick. You know, I always say, you know, I don't care who if there's I don't care who the woman is. Um, you know, regardless of how educated, how smart, how beautiful, how funny, how successful she is. There's a nigga in this world that can talk her draws off. Um, it's a fact. So when I was in Definitely that mode, fact. I was trying to be that nigga. And a lot of times that nigga is usually me. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I told the, I, I told the speak the truth last night. Shit, I'm a legend. <laughs> um, dope, dope, fire. Shout out to the speak the truth crew. Yeah. Um, Dope, dope fire show that they released last night, man. Check us out. Mm-hmm. Um, more heat from the Defy Life Podcast Network. Check out the whole network, y'all. They out there doing it big, baby. Right. Um, Hollywood Paul, man. You know I had to, I had to save you, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I know you about to flex, bro. He, he put on his Defy Life tank top and just walk around. Nigga, nigga, I got nigga, what? bro. I mean, nah. I mean, it, it, I, it, it's levels to, to this shit, man. It, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it depends on, you know, I, I've, I've gone through different chapters of my life and, and, and my uh, sexual conquests and escapades. You know, I'm, I'm now ten years in with my lady, so we we've been traveling this road. Um, it's 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 interesting. So, but you know, she knows me, and I'm gonna I'm be me. So I'm gonna speak on this shit for before I met her ass. Okay, so. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if if, if, I, if I, obviously, like I always, already said, it starts with attraction. So, um, you know what I'm saying? I already laid out what I'm attracted to. So if I walk up on you, it, I know I got the gift of gab. So I'm I'm just going to start talking to you. And I'm, I'm going to start examining everything that's going on with you immediately. And, and whether it's a receipt I can catch a glimpse at or something in your bag, something you got going on, I'm going to ask you where you're going, what you're doing. I'm going to get you talking. I'm going to be really nice about it. I'm going to give you my little smile, my charm. <laughs> and, it, and you know what I'm saying, and, and how you respond, how you respond lets me know what the fuck I need to do next. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you, if I could stop you from what you're doing, and you entertain me, I, I, I've already got you now. You know what I'm saying? It's like selling a car. Like you, you just came and sat down. You better give me your social security number. Once I get that, you're done. Okay. Huh. And so the once you give me your number, it's it's a wrap. And I, I me, I'm always, you know, ABC, always be closing. So. It depends mm. on the goal. It depends on what I'm what I'm after. So you know, if if I was after a good time, right then and there, you know, a little dope activity, then uh, I, w- I would put it out there and uh, <laughs> and invite them to to a place where that could that could take place right now, right. and it'd be fun. It'd be exactly what you want. And if not, we can we can we can try our best to get it there. And if they agreed to come, it was it was like okay, well, once we get here. I'm gonna pull my dick out because I want them to know <laughs> this is if you had any doubt to this point, this is what we're here for, and that's how I did it. So you know, I'm, I'm, I'll put a little put a little something out there. <laughs> I wow. you know, no. Because my thing is, my thing is, I never want to get. I don't want to only get you back to the crib and you like. Oh, I thought we were just gonna chill. No, no, no. I'm gonna pull my dick out. <laughs> Because we if, not, I, if we I, I feel like hit. if I don't break this ice, like it's gonna go into the wrong wrong area here. We're gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna start thinking we're we're doing something other than that. Right. Mm-hmm. We're gonna start thinking y'all friends and shit. Right. But if I but if that was the goal, then I'll come in and, and you know I'll, I'll I'll go I'll approach it a different way. I'll you know like Jr. said, try to connect to you mentally, and uh, we we go there, and uh, I, I wouldn't put my dick out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different approach, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Well, I mean, it sounds 
All right, so how many times were you at the moment and you pull your dick out and she leave? That has never happened to me. That never happened? Never. <laughs> wow. Never. Never struck out. I mean, and I'm not saying to the point to where I, I had my way like it was Burger King. Like I said, I got the gift of gab. I might have been like, oh, whoa, whoa, I was just pulling out because you know what I'm saying? I thought, hey, 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 where you going? Hey, hey, hey. Come on. <laughs> right. Oh. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Don't, so don't get it twitted, okay? You know I won't like kid that motherfuckers, but I had to put the game down then. Like, okay, well look, look, look here. You know, you know, you like you like Miles Davis. You know, you like. <laughs> what you, I mean, I mean, you looking good. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, you had to you had to let them know. Okay, I'm not being being a jerk, but nah, not not once, man. It's never happened. I just also never need happened. you to know what time it is. But you know, you get, I, it, it's not like I just do it like uh, I'm a Neanderthal. It's it's you you gotta you know the vibe. You know what I'm saying? They give you that look. So that's you, you got to play off of that as well. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't I don't approach anyone that hasn't give me that that you know what I'm saying. I I, I might I might want to fuck you look. You know what I mean? Like I don't approach you like that because you you didn't give me that. Like you might give me a look like. I don't know. I might want to see if you can handle a mortgage and you got a four hundred one k. I don't. I, I I try to avoid them as much as possible. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's that's just how I used to roll before. You know, I met my lady because it worked on her. She's been here ten years, niggas. So, you know. yeah, she, she's <laughs> she's still here too. So right, they, nigga, I, I pull my dick out every three months just to see. Bruh. Yeah. <laughs> when I get off this podcast, I'm about to do a heat check. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> He, so, he uh, check, he's on fire. Right. right. Throw one up from the logo out this bitch. Oh man. Money Never money for sure. Your, what's your forte? Hey man. Um for me, like I like to be real I really do like to pay attention and be real attentive. Um because even like kinda like 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 Hollywood said like you gotta have a little gift of gab, um, mm-hmm. but I'm also genuine. Like, and I and I think I bring a sense of like authenticity with like kind of every encounter that I have, you know. So, of course, you don't you just don't jump right out there and be like, "Shit, I'm what's up? I'm trying to smack." Like, but you like, I, I'll, I'll take some time and 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 hear you out and listen to you, see where you at, and um, that's how I kind of know you know, what approach I need to take based like Holly, like um, Hollywood said, based on what I want. So if I'm just looking for, if I'm just looking for something to have a good time with, I'll hear you out, see where you at. And um, for some people, that's not an option based on where they at. So I don't even, I don't even start down that road. If I want that thing and you are in that, in that place, I don't even, I don't even try to put you on that, in that kind of in that, you know, in that dummy bag. Mm-hmm. And that trick bag, um, but if we vibing and we kind of both have the, you know, I, I, I'll tell you, you know, you just want you want to be friends, which what we doing? We being we being, you know, what are we doing? And um, you know, if you ask me that, then then I'll tell you. But if you don't, then I'm just going with the flow. I'm just a go go with the flow type of dude, and then we can then we can see what happens. But I like to listen, man. I like to listen. I like to. I, just like like Jay said, I'm I'm a, I'm attracted to intellect, and so like I like to I like to converse with you and 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 kind of see where we are and you know mentally and and all that. But I mean, if you because if you bad, that's that's like that's you got that going for you. But it's hard for me to only it's it's hard for me to get. To my seat, my peak. Y'all gonna think I'm lame. It's gonna be hard for me to get. It's hard for me to get to my peak sexual attraction if you a dummy. Like, so even it, sure. yeah. nigga, nigga, that ain't the problem. You need to pull your dick out. That's the. That's the... <laughs> <laughs> They're not there for a conversation. <laughs> oh shit. I mean, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes, but sometimes, but the you know, but the but the point of the topic is how do you get to the point of getting pulling your dick out? Like you gotta have yeah, something like, before that, right? So how do you get? That's to why that? I work out, man. Okay, ladies are trying to muscle. That's what I'm. <laughs> the, <everybody, laughs> ladies are well, definitely trying to muscle. Yeah, you walking around with your defy like tank top and exactly, pulling. Man. Your, 
Like, and I don't fill out. Okay. Is, <laughs> which is why you always that's wear. Right, Mr. That's why you always wear the mediums and the Defy right. Life and the Defy Life tank. Right. I already know. That's it, bro. Already know. Oh shit. Yeah, that's how Yo, you get your dummy. He, he cock diesel muscle bound Mike that's Lowry looking more. Right. <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 yeah, man. You know, the smart, the smart chicks. You gotta, you gotta. I feel you. You know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta take your time, man. They're not gonna just. I mean, they, they. I mean, they. No. They will. They but will. You gotta, Right, right, right. They will, but right. you gotta see. You gotta see. You gotta see where they at first. You gotta right. see where and, they at. And really, to each his own. Like genuinely, I'm not attracted to dummies, so I won't right. even. Right. I can't even spend my time with a dummy, like because to me, like, like that's part of my arousal. You get what I'm saying? So if you just if you can't carry a conversation and you really think like, you know, the the three, you know, the three branches of the government are take off Quavo and. And offset, right? Like I can't, like I, I can't, like, like I can't rock with you. Like Shout I'm just out the money. Who, who them niggas? <laughs> right? Who? That's that's money favorite group. In case y'all didn't know. Exactly. <laughs> oh man, but yeah. So you know that, like, I get it. Um, so I, I know you, Paul. So I know you ain't just walking up. She's like, "Yo, what's your name? Here's my dick." Like, I know there's a nah, point. Nah, no, it. right, no, no. exactly. I, so, I, I, so. I, I, I'm, I'm with you, bro. Because you know, at one point in my life, it was just about, like you said, I was trying to get them all. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I didn't care. And then when I when I grew to a you know a different level, it was. You know, wanting someone that can match mm. what I can put out, and so right. you know, I know I'm a lot. Of, I'm, a, I'm a handful. So you, you can't deal with it, and you know, you need some right. bigger hands. I guess so. I need to move on if somebody got some bigger hands, right? Florically, um, of course. So yeah, yes. definitely. <laughs> you know, yeah. because it's okay. definitely an attraction there with the mental game. You know, because that's <laughs> that makes the sex even even better. You know, it, when you get to that point, because it's uh-huh. an important point that you got to get to. Period. You don't, you yeah. know, because no one wants to buy a car without a test drive. <laughs> right, and nobody, and nobody wants it. Let's at least dudes like most. We don't want it that easy. So if I ain't got to put no, no effort in, no, none. Me away. Right. So I'm I good. Right. So You're whatever. Or you, it was or you at least, Tupac or you at least. Said, I said, hate to sound sleazy, but tease me. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, want like that, that easy. easy. Right. So whatever it is, everybody has their own approach. Every dude does, but whatever it is. You know, it's got to be something to make me pursue it. Um, otherwise, that should make me leery. Like, why this shit so easy? I don't want that shit. Right. No doubt. She no for doubt. everybody. She for uh, everybody. Right. I, I feel that. So, but, in um, summation, don't be dumb. Smell good than a motherfucker. Right. The mood is right. After you have made your halftime bill, Bella checking in adjustments. Pull your dick out? Pull your dick out. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> I'm right. Uh, hey, yeah, a little mu- recipe. A little music don't hurt, you know. Of course, it's oh, like, like a lot of little schemes. Little music don't hurt. If you can cook, that don't hurt. Oh, you know you, what I'm saying? You got a little drink that right. don't hurt people. Yeah, yeah. 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 you got no. bum truck skills. You know what I'm saying? Bow staff right. skills. All right, and let and allow women like to talk about themselves. So let her talk. You ain't got to do all the talking. Because once you get her going, she's going to want to talk about, about her and she's going to think, oh, this thing actually like me. And you're going to make it easier for yourself. Let her talk. No doubt. No doubt. Hey, man. Yeah, speaking of letting things talk, man, we've been talking for a minute right. and we got to stop. <laughs> and, and I got more talking to do. <laughs> and uh, Jay got more talking to do. So, man, hey, as we end every show, man, hey, we appreciate it. We're going we to have to zip them up, man. Hey, our guest, our honored guest, man. You can take the take the first zip them up, man. Jay, zip them up, man. Hey, man, I just want to let y'all know I appreciate it. You know, I'm honored to be y'all's first guest. And again, I salute y'all for doing what you said you was going to do and putting out, you know, a dope product. So proud of both, um, all three of y'all, man. Keep it up. Um, everybody check out, again, the Defy Like podcast. i um, about to go jump on it now, but the flagship um you know we are uh, released every wednesday 
uh, with me, Pooh, and Al. So definitely check us out and check out everybody on the network, man. We got a whole lot of fire for y'all. To, uh, we can be your favorite pastime while y'all stuck in the house. So check us out. No doubt. Sure. Appreciate that, brother. Hollywood <laughs> Paul, man. <laughs> Zip them up, man. Hey, man. You know, um, like I say every week, you know, try to try to be good to somebody. Because uh, I know not everybody's quarantined by themselves. You know, unless you West Coast, but West Coast, you, you, you got the cat. Be good to the cat, man. <laughs> you know, for everybody else that just got their pets, be good to your pets. You know, that's just one thing I want to touch on. You know, do, uh, one day on the show, uh, people always be mistreating animals, but I don't, I don't think we can put animals above people. That's the topic we need to touch on. But anyway, uh, anyway, anyway, um, if, if you see somebody out, tell their ass to go the fuck home. Right. <laughs> do not talk to them and tell them to go see their doctor. They probably seen their doctor already and you don't want to get close to a nano conversation. Mask mm-hmm. up. Okay. Wear your gloves. If you go outside, come come back in the house. Please wash your hands first thing you do. I mean, you know, I, I know this sounds remedial, but sometimes you just need to hear it. Like I mom and my dad in the back of my mind reminding us of what to do. That's the right thing to do. And thanks for listening. Please share, like, comment. We still gonna give away a free stay at a hotel somewhere at Marriott, but of course, when things open back up, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll announce the winner. We'll, we'll, so keep the names coming in. You still got a chance. And yeah, uh, keep keep the names, keep the keep the likes and the shares going. Keep right. it coming, keep it coming, and, and and keep listening. No doubt, appreciate that. Um, West Coast J, go ahead and zip them up. Yeah, you already know. Uh, first off, thanks for coming on, Jay. It's been it's been an honor and a pleasure to have you. No doubt. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, for everything. Uh, great show, gentlemen. As always, you know, y'all can catch us on uh, Speaker iTunes, iHeartRadio. Definitely check out DefyLifePods.com for all your podcasting needs. Um, I'm going to go ahead and echo what Jay said. Make sure that... Uh, we get y'all through this. We gonna help y'all get through this quarantine. We got plenty of content up and down the network. Um, uh, other than that, please continue to be excellent to one another. Treat people the way you want to be treated. That's all I got. Hey, West Coast, you know what you wasn't today? You wasn't like you wasn't down like four flat tires or. Chilling like a bird in a cool sandy wind, or right? You were like moss in the Mississippi. Yeah, you was white. Right. 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 You was right. You was right. You hanging out like hair in a biscuit, man. Right? <laughs> 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 I knew you had to get one of the, one, one at some point in the show. I, I appreciate that one. <laughs> hey man, oh. I don't have I don't have nothing too crazy. Um. To the guy that put me on my first show, man, and I fell in love with this thing called podcasting, man. Um, Jay, man, thank you, thank you for joining us. Um, my brother, my brother at the Firelight, my partner, my man, and y'all been knowing this dude for 20 years now. He's um, he's one of my best friends. I love him to death, man. So I, hey, I can't do it. I couldn't do enough for you, man. So I appreciate you being on the show, man. I, I was crazy to rock with you. Hey, absolutely, man. Um, again, right back at you. And thank y'all for just being a part of the growth, man. You know, we've seen so much growth in Defy Life. And, uh, you know, three of y'all continuing to make that happen. Um, everybody that becomes a part of this family genuinely becomes family, man. So, um, you know, West Coast started off on a trivia as a listener. Um, you know, as after about a year of trying to convince Paul to come join us, he joined y'all. So, and this shit's working out. I'm loving y'all's chemistry. Man, this shit is dope. I love y'all, man. Hey, we love you man, back, thanks, man. man. Definitely, bro. Thank you. Love, man. Thanks for keeping it going, man. Because I know I know it's hard to keep a lot of things going. We all got our individual things going on, especially if you're with the creative. But I, I just think that this is really dope that, you know, this is something that not only that we're all growing with, but it's it's legitimately can go any direction uh, with, the, with the, the right, you know, catapult and pushing it forward. Uh, it's just a real beautiful thing to keep it going, man. And that's that's a hard thing to do. So I, I, I applaud your stick it out in this. No, stick it out. Likewise. Y'all, you know, man. you know, appreciate that. But to be honest, you know, the people, the people like, like a job, you know, the people you with and the people you work with make it easy. So, you know, I couldn't do this shit if it wasn't for y'all and everybody else in the network. No 
doubt, no doubt. Hey, man, this has been episode nine. God, I can't. Wow, well, well, yo, every year, every every week, man, we go up and over, and it just sounds crazy to me. This has been episode nine, Un- unsupervised the spinoff podcast, powered by the Defy Life Network. Hey, man, you already know what I'm gonna say. If you're not rocking with Defy Life, what's your life about? We out. Hey. Welcome to the Defy Life Podcast. For in-depth, entertaining, often hilarious, always real talk about sports, culture, lifestyle, and current events, join us and become part of the movement. The Defy Life Podcast. New episode every Wednesday, everywhere your favorite podcasts are available. Brought to you by the Defy Life Podcast Network. This is Defy Life.